I think it was around 1966. And um, I don't know what made me think of this, but I started worrying about the astronauts. What if there's an emergency and they didn't know it? And um, because they're just merrily going away, reading the data and putting it in, but what if there's something really major going on? And it, it just, that's it. So what I wanted to do was to interrupt the astronauts uh, to tell them there's an emergency so they'd stop doing what they're doing, okay? But then the systems guys came along, can't do it. That night, I went home and I had to solve it because it mattered to me that I hadn't come up with something <coughs> that what couldn't be solved, right, as an idea to do. So I came back with a solution the next day and uh, again, these guys were gurus. I mean, all these guys were gurus. They'd been around um, in, this, in this area for, for a while. And um, they thought about it and they said, I think it can be done. So it got in all the missions, you know, starting from the landing on the moon. So it's in there for both the LEM and the command module in case there's an emergency, whatever it might be. You warn them, you tell them what it is with this display, and they're given a choice. You either go here or there, that kind of thing. So anyway, now we go to Apollo 11, <laughs> and it's time to land, okay? And so <laughs> I'm standing in the scammer room again, um, and um, they're going through all the things you go through for landing, and all of a sudden, guess what comes up? 1201 and 1202 priority displays telling them there's an emergency. This is just before they land. And here were the things that I had wanted to do was to warn the astronaut when there's an emergency. And 1201 and 1202 means that um, there were too many things going on in the computer. Uh, one was to do with the tasks, too many tasks trying to get scheduled and the other was um, too many jobs based on priority getting scheduled. So it went to a restart and the restart programs um, were set up to go back to checkpoints, not start the program over again, but go to the last safe place so that could just pick up and carry on getting rid of lower priority stuff. And just, and so that's why it happened more than once. Now Houston knew They'd seen the 1201, 1202 before, and the astronaut knew that he had put the switch in a position that had caused extra stuff affecting the computer. And he realized, oh yeah, and he put it back in the right place, and they landed. <laughs>